Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a magical day so far. Today's video is, as you can tell from the title of this video, another Come Pack With Me video. Now my one in December was from my Disneyland Paris trip, which I went on in December, and this is for a summer holiday. Well, technically a summer holiday. I'm going to Tenerife in February, but it's for a hot, summered trip. So I'm packing a little bit differently. So without further ado, let's get into this video. First things first, the suitcase. Now I actually had to buy a brand new suitcase because my hard shelled case I only got two trips out of. Both trips that I went on last year, the one in March and the one in December. And unfortunately the case got really really scuffed and then a wheel completely broke off. So thank you very much to Flybee for that, coming home. Thank you, that was fantastic. So I had to buy a new suitcase. Now I went with this IT luggage one, or IT luggage, I'm not quite sure. It's massive. I kept this from the front of it. Now it wasn't 55 pounds, I paid 45. I'm gonna move it to the side slightly. Um, it's a large suitcase. It is 77 centimeters by 47 and a 26 centimeter depth. And it, I'm sure it said how many litres it held, but I can't find it. It's in this rose gold colouring. It does have four wheels, which are also rose gold coloured. And there's a pocket on here. And I'll quickly show you the inside because the colour on the inside is... Wow. <laughs> Ta-da! It's really really awkward <laughs> to show so you've just got one massive compartment there is a couple of the um, elasticated things to hold clothes in I will show you guys once the case is filled at the end of the video and I look really tiny on the screen right now and then also you have this little section here which I usually tend to put my underwear in so now that's the case I'm going to show you a little haul of the things that I purchased for this trip and then after that I'll go through everything in some form of order and then at the very end I'll show you everything once it's all packed in my suitcase. Right, first up is the little haul of things that I purchased for the trip which are all right here. There's quite a few things. The order for this is going to be probably really, really random. Um, first up, a couple of pairs of insoles just from Shoe Zone. These were 99 pence a piece, so these will be really good. I then got some foot packs or foot masks. I got four pairs. I figured that me and my Auntie Leslie, who is kindly taking me away to Tenerife for my 30th, um, we could use one one night, I guess, when we were away, and I'm going to use one on my feet before I go as well. They were 89 pence a piece. Hi, Ollie. Um, 89 pence a piece in home bargains. I then needed a new moisturiser and Laura suggested the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This isn't Cocoa Butter scented, this is the men's body and face fresh scent and it was 2 99 in body care. I then also got Carmex for my lips. They get dry in winter and sometimes in the summer as well. This was 1 99 in body care. I then needed a new, where is it, concealer. I do touch up under my eyes. I'm just quite self-conscious about my black bags. So I got the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. I have got it on for the video, if you cannot tell. Um, this is fair warm, and I think it's slightly too light for my skin, but it was five pound in boots, so that was that. I think the rest is almost no hold on it's not almost all clothes um in river island i picked up this little set of random bracelets i thought it would be quite summery to wear these while i'm away they were reduced to three pounds from 10 actually not the five it says on there it was actually reduced from 10. i needed a new luggage tag i actually purchased one of these last year and when i binned my old suitcase i realized it was on that suitcase luckily this was reduced to just one pound in Primark, so at least I didn't pay another three pounds like the first time. The last non-clothing item is this. This is actually a pencil case from Primark. It costs three pounds, but I'm going to be using it for my electricals, which I will show you later on in the video. So that's what I'm going to put in here to keep them all in one place. Fantastic. Now all of the 
clothes. So I just have this plain, I'm not going to open everything out with the clothes, um, but this is just a plain navy t-shirt that says Jack Wills on it. I got this for Christmas from my auntie. I then got two t-shirts in River Island in a two for twelve pound offer, which I thought was really good for River Island. I've got a really nice mustardy one and then this one. I don't know what colour you'd call this, but I really like it. What does it say on the tag? It just says pink. Um, they were supposed to be eight pounds a piece, but you saved four quid if you got two, so they're great. I then got two pairs of shorts last year in Primark, a sort of teal green colour and a bright red pair, and these were reduced to three pounds from six, so essentially buy one get one free, so they were great. I then had to buy swimming shorts. I'm only taking one pair. These just have little anchors on and these were five pounds and I literally purchased these today. And then a couple of weeks back, I got this shirt that kind of complements them. It's got anchors and it's also got like your captain's wheel on as well. And this is seven pound and it's 100% cotton so it should hopefully breathe nicely in the warmer weather. I've literally spied something else I've not shown yet. <laughs> Flip flops. I just got plain black ones because I figured they would pretty much go with everything. And these were only four quid in Primark. They did have ones that had memory foam soles, but they were double the price. They were eight, which is still good for flip flops. But I'm just like, I'm literally going to be using them for this holiday, probably. Dependent on how our summer goes this year. I don't know, but I figured four quid is more than enough for the trip that I'm going on. So that's everything that I purchased specifically for the trip. Now we'll show you everything else in some form of order. The first section, I'm basically just gonna show you some obviously main essentials that you need when you go on a holiday. And then I'm just gonna show you some electricals and some random accessories as well. First up, you're gonna need your passport. Or you're not leaving the country without it. So you need that. Then, euros. I'm not gonna disclose how many euros I have. I am on an all-inclusive holiday but we might want to eat out one or two nights a week, especially because it's my auntie's birthday when I'm away. And also if we just go on random walks and end up, you know, maybe stopping for a cocktail or two. So yeah, passport and euros. I always also take the weight thing for your luggage because I just want to make sure, especially when I'm going to Disney and spending money on merchandise, my case is always heavier on the way home. So I always take this. I also am taking a travel hair dryer. Don't worry, it's not for all this hair. This is for my auntie. She doesn't have one, so I borrowed one from my sister. So I will be taking this. Now on to the electricals that I myself take. I always take a portable charger wherever I go. I recommend the Anchor brand. I think they're fantastic. I've never had any issues with them. And this will charge your phone seven to eight times over from dead before being re needing recharged, so it's just great, I love it. Recently, in fact, I think it literally came this week, is this Anchor wireless charger. It's absolutely fantastic. My phone is sadly on its way out, and the charging port is a bit loose now, so it's a little bit delicate for listening to music and charging. I kind of have to just leave it and let it charge um, on its own. So this is great. This doesn't disturb it, I just sit it straight on top and it charges and it's fantastic. And it was only 15 pounds on Amazon. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Other few things that I obviously need to take. The final electrical is this. Now this does work for um, UK plugs as well. And it came with the EU on it. And well, not the EU on it, but you know, the European plug socket um, as well. It just literally, slides right out and you can charge um, four USBs at one time on it which is fantastic so I will of course be taking that. I then have my glasses because otherwise I'm pretty blind without them. I have two pairs of sunglasses, this pair and this pair. They are the same style, they are just in different colours. Um, so pair number one and pair number two what do we think? Please let me know in the comments below how ridiculous I look. I will take two of my watches with me. Oh, I only have two. Um, this Skagen watch that I always wear. And on my most recent trip to Disneyland Paris, I actually purchased this Mickey one. It's currently eight o'clock at night, by the way. What? 
um, and it's just got Mickey and I just love it. So, and this was in Disneyland Paris in December, so if you're going soon, they might have it. And I only saw this in the Disney fashion store in the village, if you are remotely interested. And then the final non-clothing item, I'm going to take a book I have not read in a long time. And this was a Christmas present in December. Um, it's as old as time, a twisted tale, and it's What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. So I might have a sneaky read of it, maybe when I'm around the pool or something. So yeah, there's almost 500 pages though. Just to, you know, settle myself back into reading 500 pages. Ugh. Okay, so that is the accessories and electricals out of the way. Let's get on with everything else. I'm only taking two other pairs of shoes along with the flip-flops that you just saw. I'm going to take this pair of trainers, which do need to clean. So I will be cleaning them before I go away, do not worry. But I just wanted to get this video filmed because today is currently Wednesday and I fly on Sunday. And I have no days off in between flying. I'm literally working Thursday, Friday, all day Saturday. And I've got to go straight to um, Glasgow after work on Saturday. So that will be fun. So yay. And then the second pair of shoes is my Mickey Vans. I couldn't not take them. I have to rep Disney. So these will be coming with me. I've also despite it sitting in the corner of this video, I will also be taking a backpack. Just in case, I guess, you know, for going to the beach or whatever, if we need to put towels in and stuff, sun cream, take my backpack with me. And of course I would have to take the one full of the Fab Five Disney characters with the little Buzz and Alien keyring on it as well. So that is coming too. Next, I will show you my toiletries. I bought a brand new puffball because I did have one that I binned and then I got one in a little set at Christmas, but it was like a mini one and it was no good. So this was about 45 pence or something in Home Bargains. Oh, I've missed a couple of random things. Um, my electric razor and a lint roller, which is perfect because it's pointless for me to lint roller stuff when I'm packing it because Ollie's probably going to buzz around me when I'm packing anyway, so I can just lint roller stuff when I'm actually away out there, so I'm going to take this. Now, oh, <laughs> my toiletry bag. Okay, so essentially I'm just going to quickly run through. I have an aftershave, paracetamol capsules, hair mousse and hairspray, they're just mini versions, and then down here I've got a little brush, I have a couple of minis that came in a little set for Christmas, so there's a shampoo and a shower gel one, and I've got two deodorants, a, um, a Jack Wills one and a Nivea Sport one, and then I'm also taking this knockoff one million aftershave that smells just like it and I love it, so I'm going to take two aftershaves with me just for some variation on said trip and yeah it's just clothes left now so yeah I have underwear and a couple of little pairs of these just slip on ones for just wearing especially with like the Mickey Vans just so I've actually got something on my feet I've only got two pairs but it was a pack of five I really need to ratch through and see if I've got any more hidden away anywhere but yeah underwear and socks and then it's all of the clothes, which I will show you in the next clip. So this is the rest of the clothes, which might seem excessive for a Sunday to Friday trip, but I'll explain as I go. So here we go. I have an additional two pairs of shorts, which makes four pairs. I have this black denim pair from Primark last year, which I think was £10. And then just this fabric pair, which will be nice and breathable. Uh, these were from Primark a couple years ago. Um, I just figured that they would be good for going. I'm then actually taking two pairs of skinny jeans with me. Hear me out. It is February and I can remember when I used to go to Tenerife when I was a lot younger when it would get chilly at night. So if we're just around the hotel and there's hotel entertainment, which I believe there is entertainment in the hotel, I can just pop a pair of these on if my legs are chilly or whatever, you know? So I'm just taking my black skinnies from Hollister and then my denim ones that have rips um, across the knees from River Island. And just the two pairs I think is more than enough. You might think I'm crazy, but I think it's kind of essential. You can't just expect sunny hot weather I guess the whole day right 
it is only February after all. Okay, I'm taking another two shirts, so that'll be three shirts. These, again, are just for those nights where I can just chuck one on and leave it open or something. I think it might be beneficial. This is a shirt I actually got for going away to my, um, from my December Disneyland Paris trip. It's slightly fleeced. It feels so nice and it feels really expensive and it was eight quid or something. Um, bargain and I love it. I'm also going to take this Hollister one which is probably a hundred percent cotton to be honest but the Hollister labels are always full of so much random so many random languages I just yeah anyways it's another blue one but again just for throwing on top of a t-shirt at night if I'm feeling a little bit chilly um, I just thought another shirt really so yeah that's that Next up, I have my pyjama top I'm going to take. I'm going to take the Scar one. I'm surrounded by idiots. I love this one and it's so comfortable and they always seem to have it at Disneyland Paris and it was $25.99, so... Yup, there's that. Next up, I have quite a few t-shirts, so I am going to try and go through them as quickly as possible. I have this one from River Island. I have this other one from Primark. I have one for basically underneath shirts, which is just like a plain dark, dark navy. This is from Next. I have a Primark one, a Mickey one, which I'm not sure where this is from. This was a present. I then have a couple of long sleeve tops, again, just for those nights where it might be chillier. This was a Christmas present from my auntie. Um, it says California Hollister. Yeah, uh, Hollister, then California underneath. And then on the arm, it says Hollister, California in some clouds. Um, it says the same thing on both arms. The next one is again, another long sleeve top from Hollister. This is from two Christmases ago. Again, it says Hollister, California on it. And it's got a massive thing of a cat on the back. And I love wearing red. I like to think I suit it. So that's why I've purchased this one. Or I got, well, I'm happy I got gifted it basically. And then I'm also taking two jumpers, um, just two. Again, I love my mustard colours. This was from Primark. I got it in the sale for five pounds. And I'm taking my one and only Spirit jersey. This is the Mickey Mouse one from Shop Disney. I got it for like 22.50. It was supposed to be 50 pounds. I got it in the sale, so I'm taking this one. So just before I finish the video, I figured I would show you the case all packed. It really is a deep case. And I also, of course, forgot to mention there is the extendable handle. But yeah, we're all, all packed and ready for Sunday. And I've, of course, got these little foot packs um, as a little treat for one night when we're away. So that is everything. Let's get this video finished. And that is everything for this Tenerife summer holiday pack with me. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you found it useful to see what other people take on holiday. I know that I've got long sleeve shirts and jeans in here, but honestly, I'm really not sure what the weather's going to do. The weather looks fantastic from what I've actually looked up online, but those nights can get chilly, so I'm really just trying to cover all bases for when I'm going away. I'm also incredibly fortunate that my auntie is taking me away for my 30th. I am in incredibly grateful for that but obviously I have got my own spending money and all of that kind of thing and it's her birthday when we're away and I have purchased a couple of presents that I will give her when we're away. I will be vlogging said trip as well. I'm probably thinking there'll maybe be a couple of different maybe two parts to the vlog. I'll definitely film her opening up her presents on her birthday because I know that my family are giving me a couple of random bits to take up to Glasgow to then take away over to Tenerife with us as well. So that'll be really nice too. Um, so I'll, I'll film her sort of opening all her presents and stuff. That'll be quite nice to catch that on camera. So that is everything. I, as I say, hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below the countdown to your next holiday, whether it be Disney, a summer holiday or a holiday to somewhere cold. Who knows what you guys like. And if you haven't already, please do hit that big red subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you real soon. Bye for now.